So Jim, in one of your books, the number one job hunting book in the world, Job Search Strategies for Unemployed, Unemployed and Unhappy Employee People. You talk about many strategies in the book. Can you mention a few of them that can be applicable for job seekers these days? Sure, sure. I'll name uh, three. One um, popular strategy is to not job search alone. Mm -hmm. uh, looking for work can be hard on, yes. your, on you mentally <laughs> and on your resources. So one um, suggestion I have is to find people who are also looking for work and you build a team and you all look for work together. Yes. Uh, say, for example, you team up with three other people who operate in your field, but don't compete for your job. So, so for example, let's say that you are a cashier at a Kroger's, you know, uh, find someone who is a, an assistant manager, someone who is a store clerk, someone mm -hmm. who bags groceries. Those are people who work with you, but don't compete for the same job you have. And then as you all go out and look for work, uh, say someone goes through the job board, someone else goes to a career fair and so forth. Um, after you've all done your respective job hunting, meet back together virtually or in person and say, hey, what did you find out there? Um, who's hiring? Who's not hiring? Mm -hmm. Let me share your intelligence. And then when someone um, is hired or, or excuse me, when someone is um, uh, find a job yeah. a lot quicker. Uh, another tip I have is to follow the money. Uh, there are a lot of companies, startup companies mm -hmm. that receive funding yes. all the time. And when they receive funding is usually a newspaper article about them, you know, or a blog post or something like that. So get on DuckDuckGo or Google or some other search engine and do a search for startups that have just raised money and uh, startup companies, they need everything. <laughs> They're just getting started, you know, and you know, they have money enough to hire you because they just receive, you know, so X number of dollars. Yeah. And then finally, another, um, idea I, I would suggest too is to create various social media outposts of yourself mm. so even if you don't have even if you're not active on instagram or on twitter or on youtube or what have you yeah still create a presence on those sites mm -hmm. um uh use your username which would be your name and then um your job title social social media whatever person right that will help because recruiters do searches on Google to find yeah. resumes and people for free. So if you have your name associated on different uh, social media pages uh, with a job title, social media engineer or software de developer, whatever your job title is, then that'll increase the chances of you coming up in a uh, search engine result because recruiters like to find resumes for free. What a lot of job seekers don't think about is that when um, you, when a job seeker uses a site like Monster, it costs them nothing. Yeah. Uh, but recruiters, when they have to use those same sites to find you, they have to pay so much money. Yes. So they'll go to Google to try to find somebody for free. And yeah. when you put your information out there on different social media sites, it increases the chances of you being found in a search engine search. Because recruiters like to find resumes for free. What a lot of job seekers don't think about is that when, um, you, when a job seeker uses a site like Monster, it costs them nothing. Yeah. Uh, but recruiters, when they have to use those same sites to find you, they have to pay so much money. Yes. So they'll go to Google to try to find somebody for free. And yeah. when you put your information out there on different social media sites, it increases the chances of you being found in a search engine search.